Hey everybody, uh, this lesson we're comparing uh, box plots. In the last lesson we compared dot plots, so this is very similar. So how do we compare two sets of data displayed in box plots? Um, they both have their advantages, so, um, so our box plots, how to analyze them is uh, they can show five key values to represent the set of data. So we can see the least number and the greatest number. We can see the lower and upper quartiles or the interquartile range, which is the, the box part. And we can see the median, which is that line going down the middle of the box. So to create a box plot, we're going to arrange the data in order and divide them into four equal parts, okay, or quartiles. And then we draw the box and whiskers. Okay, so here's a, a box plot right here. Okay, so here's the smallest number, 15. The biggest number is 30. Okay, so here's quartile 1. So this must be 15, 16, 17. So 17.5. Looks like quartile 3 is over here. So right there. So 25, 26, 27.5. And then here's the middle number, which means 50% is below that number right there okay so this is 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent of the numbers and then 25 percent of the numbers that's what the box and whisker plot uh, gives us an advantage of okay so what's the least value and greatest value so the least value is 15 and the greatest is 30 right there okay find the median and describe what that means okay so the median is that right there at 21 and it divides the data values into two halves, the lower half and the upper half. So describe the lower quartile and the upper quartiles. Okay, so the quartiles are those guys right there. So 17.5 um, and 27.5. Um, and that's uh, the lower half. The, um, uh, so so here, is the, here is the median of the lower half. So here's the median. So this is the middle of the lower half right here. So 25%, 25%, this is the number right in the middle. Okay, 25%, 25%, this is the number right in the middle. Okay, so the interquartile range is we're going to subtract Q3 minus Q1. So if we subtract those, we get uh, 10 right there. So 27.5 minus 17.5 is 10. So how do the lengths of the whiskers compare and explain? Okay, so look at these whiskers right here. Okay, it goes from 15 up to 17.5. This is 27.5 up to 30. Well, those are pretty much equal right there. Okay, so the whiskers are about the same length right there. That just means that both quarters of the data have about the same range. Okay, so the same range from um, uh, the spread. Okay, so we can compare two box plots numerically according to their centers or medians and their spreads and their variabilities, how much they vary from the small guy to the big guy. So that's uh, like range. So the range and interquartile range, Q1, Q3 minus Q1, are both measures of their spread, okay, or their measures of how much they vary, okay. So box plots with similar spreads. Similar variability should have similar boxes and whiskers. Okay, so here's an example. Okay, so let's look at this right here. So this uh, it says down here the shopping time in minutes. Okay, so here's group A, group B. So the box plot shows the distribution of time spent shopping by two different groups. Okay, now group A, uh, we have shopping time looks like at five minutes all the way up to, what's that, 65 minutes right here. And group B goes from, I don't know, I'm guessing about 7.5 to about, is that 65, 60, is that 65? I'm guessing 66 or so, I don't know. So anyways, let's go ahead and answer these. So compare the shapes, okay? So uh, the positions and lengths of the box and whiskers appear to be similar. Um, in both, the right whisker is shorter than the left whisker, okay? So that just means, uh, remember, these are... 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. Same with this one. It cuts them up into equal force. So compare the centers, okay? Look at, here's the center of group A. Here's the center of group B. Okay, so the centers, you guys, so the group A's median is 47.5, uh, and that's greater than group B's, which is about 40, okay? That just means that the median shopping time for group A is about... 7.5 minutes more okay so compare the spreads so the boxes show the IQRs are similar can you see these boxes right here they look about the same length although 
group B is a little bit bigger than group A. So uh, on the numbers right here. So group A's IQR is about 25 minutes and group B's is about 20 six minutes so they're pretty close to each other right there so the whiskers have similar lengths with um, uh, group B slightly shorter than group group A's okay can you see group B's whiskers it just says compare their their spread so here's the whisker this whisker is a little bit shorter than this one and same over here this one's kind of hard to tell so I'm, I'm guessing if I had to pick uh, this uh, group B is a little bit shorter than group A right there on those whiskers right there. So which group has the shoppers who shop the longest and explain how we know. Okay, well, this is the shopping time. So, so I have somebody who likes to shop a little bit over an hour. So this person likes to shop about 65 minutes. This person likes to shop about 66 minutes, okay? I don't like to shop at all. So group B, uh, because it has a greater maximum value, is going to have um, the longest shopping on right there. So all right, so which group has the greater variability in the bottom 50% of time shopping? Okay, so let's look at the bottom 50%. That is from the median all the way to the, me the, the minimum value. Okay, so we're looking at this value, and we're looking at this value right here. And then the top 50% would be this value and this value right here so so the the greater variability in the bottom 50 percent is is group a and the greater variability in the top 50 percent is is group b can you see so can you see this spread from here to here is bigger than this spread from here to here a little harder to see but this spread from here all the way down to here is greater than from here all the way to here so that's how we answer that okay so um, looking at the box plots group A's box is, is larger on the left and group B's is larger on the right and the larger part just means greater variability okay more more variable in the range right there okay so here we go so the box plots show the distribution of weights in pounds of two different groups of football players so compare the shapes and the spread so these are weights in pounds okay so here's some football players that weigh 171 pounds all the way up to uh, I don't know 333 pounds something like that okay and then group B goes from a hundred I don't know what's that 187 pounds to 300 I don't know 30 25 pounds I don't know anyway so so uh, the boxes have similar shapes okay so they are similar they're about the same I don't know they're similar shapes okay group B has a shorter box than and shorter whiskers than group A does okay can you see that this box is shorter than this box and these whiskers are a little bit shorter than these whiskers here the blue whiskers are a little bit shorter or the bottom whiskers a little bit shorter than the top Group B's median is greater than group A's, okay, so here's group B's median, this middle guy right here, and it's greater than group A's median right here, okay, so the, sh the shorter box in group B just means that the middle 50% of the data are closer together than the 50% of the data in group A, okay, remember it goes 25, 25, 25, 25, here's 25% 25 of the data, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, same here, 25, 25, 25, 25, so this shorter box right here just means that the middle 50% of the data is uh, closer together uh, than this middle 50% of that data right there, okay? Okay, and so uh, let's see. So we can compare box plots with greater var variability where there is less overlap of the median and interquartile range. Okay, so let's look at these guys. So here, here's the box plots that show the distribution of number of teams' wristbands that are uh, team wristbands that are sold daily by two different stores over the same period of time okay so these are wristbands being sold so the numbers so uh, over the same period of time we don't know what the period of time is I don't know what's this about 24 all the way up to about 77 I don't know and this goes from about 42 all the way up to about 73 okay so let's just go ahead and slide that up and compare the shapes okay so store A's box and right whisker are longer than store B's, okay? All right, so, so it looks like the left whiskers are about the same, but this box right here is definitely bigger than this box. So the middle 50% is bigger up here than the middle 50% right here. 
and the top 25% is bigger than the top 25% right there. So compare the centers. Okay, I'm on this part right here. So comparing the centers, here's the center right here, right about there. What's that? 42.5, and this one's going to be about 51 right here. So comp comparing the centers, store A's median is about 40. That's what I say, 40. I don't know, 43 and store B's is about 51 okay and um, uh, store A's median is closer so store A's median right here is closer to store B's minimum value so about 50 percent of the data in store A here's 50 percent 25 and 25 so about 50 percent of the data is less than the worst day of store B right there okay all right so compare the spreads okay the spreads are the uh, from the minimum to the biggest right here so store A has a greater spread uh, its range and IQR are both greater for store B's are uh, key values are greater than store A's corresponding values so for store B's greater values so Here's one, two, three, four. Can you see these? Uh, this. So here's 75% of the data right here are greater than uh, the data in in store store A right there. Okay. So store B has a greater number of sale, sales overall. All right. So compare the shape, center, and spread of the data in the box plot with the data of store A and B in the two box plots. Okay. So there's uh, store A and B right there. All right, so let's go through this. So the shape is similar to store A's. Okay, this shape right here is more similar to this shape right here in store A right here. The median in uh, this guy is greater than the median in this guy. Notice I tried to line up uh, the numbers to be the same. So the median um, uh, is greater than store A's, but it's less than the median in store B's right here. The IQRs are about the same. So um, in store A so this IQR this box is about as big as this box right here because remember this is Q1 this is Q3 so the IQR is this range right here and here's the IQR right here uh, and it's definitely longer than this IQR right there okay alright you guys I hope that helps and makes sense and take care